Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Stay. This is Coloring Bliss and I have a gift idea for you. I am excited to share this idea. Maybe you've got an artist or a colorist in your life or someone who loves stationery, or maybe you're looking for something to buy for yourself for the holidays. Well, I have the perfect idea that will work for all those people. How oh, is that Whoa. for a big claim? <laughs> so this journey that I'm about to share with you started way back in August. I'm excited to tell you everything I've learned and give you my recommendation on a really good pencil case. We're going to talk about a cool feature Amazon has. It's called the Top Best Sellers. I'll show you that here in a minute. want to make a note here that I am not sponsored by Amazon or any of these bag companies. I bought them all myself and I'm excited to share what I've learned. But first, I have some new coloring pages and a free one for you to come and download. This is the free one right here. I think I drew this one a year or two ago, a year ago, yeah. probably. And I want everyone to come and get it. So I'm making it free for a limited time. Follow the link in the video description and come and get something to celebrate this time of year. Now, we have some new art. Steve's been working with our Bliss artists that we have invited to draw pages for us from time to time and asked them to create some autumn themed pages. So these pages I'm about to show you here are part of our Bliss library over at Coloring Bliss and it's a premium library and to get access into this library just five bucks a month and we have over 600? Yeah, almost 700. <gasps> almost 700 different coloring pages, worksheets, downloads, all kinds of amazing things, plus your five bucks supports us here at Coloring Bliss. So this is the first one, and if you remember, a few months ago we released an entire coloring book called Fairy Tale Bliss featuring this little character right here. So Steve contacted this artist and said, do you want to make something that's sort of autumn themed? And look at what she came up with. <laughs> it's really cute. This is actually the first time I'm seeing it. I love her broom that she drew. Love this little character. So come and get this one. Now, in addition to this one, as part of the premium library, we have this fun piece right here. Very stylized, fun autumn leaves to color. I'm really excited about the way she broke up each leaf into different designs. Really cool. And then we also had her draw this one right here, a pumpkin patch. So much fun. Ooh, look at that sunshine and the cool background. All right, so if you're a member over at Coloring Bliss, come and download these and celebrate autumn with me and have a lot of fun coloring. All right, so I've got Amazon pulled up here and I want to show you what I'm talking about with this feature that Amazon has that I think is pretty cool. So what I did was I put in the term pencil case and when it came up, you know, just like Amazon always does, it shows you a whole bunch of different pencil cases, right? But up here in this corner is what we're going to talk about, this little bestseller flag on the top of this pencil case. If you click bestseller, did you know it does something? <laughs> it brings up Amazon bestsellers for this particular thing, which is pen, pencil, and marker cases, and then ranks them and gives you all the links and information you need to know. So I thought that was a spectacular way to do some research on Amazon. And I thought, I want to try out the top five on this list for you and give you my opinion on how I like them, if I think they're practical, because any of these would make a really good gift for someone that's an artist or just loves stationery, a student in your life. Everybody needs pencil case, and I don't think you can have too many pencil cases <laughs> because they're so useful, and I'm going to show you how I've been using them. But first, I want to roll my unboxing footage. Now, this top five has actually changed a little bit from back in August. We'll talk about that here in a minute as well. But let's go back to August, Jennifer, and let you see the beautiful cases I got. We'll unbox them and give you my first impressions. All right, Amazon has finally delivered all five of the cases that I ordered. All of them came really well. One of them came really strange. 
this one right here. They didn't even box it. It came just like this in its bag with our shipping label slapped to the back. And I was so scared when it arrived that maybe it had gotten hurt or dirty, but it seems okay. We'll see when we open it up. So we're going to start, I guess, by opening, it doesn't really matter what order we open. I've got them all labeled one through five, and I have a whole bunch of information printed out here about each one so we can kind of talk about the features that they thought were special and unique about each of them. And then I'll just kind of give you my first impressions. Also, I have behind me a big box. I pulled together a box of supplies, art things, tapes, a little bit of everything. These are all things that I have um, expected and um, used in my different cases over the years and very recently too. I know that a lot of these things aren't going to fit into these cases, but I just want to test and see which things do fit, which things don't fit, so I can get a feel for how I'm going to try using all of these cases over the next few weeks. So that's what this box is. And then also I have 50 gel pens because a lot of the stuff on Amazon was proclaiming things like um, my case will hold blank number of pens and then they also talked a lot about how my case will hold blank number of pencils. So what I did is grab my big 120 set of Crayolas because I don't know what kind of pencils they're talking about. I have wildly different sized pencils <laughs> in my collection, but I figure Crayola is sort of standard size. It's not too long, not too fat. It's just a basic pencil size. So I think this is a good measuring stick for how many pencils each of these cases will fit. So we'll kind of stuff them with pencils and see how they do. So that's my plan. I'm so excited to crack into these and we'll test the zippers and, and see how they act straight out of the bag. Okay, so I think we'll start by opening up number five, this one right here. Now for a pen, pencil, marker case to make a good gift, in my opinion, it has to be really versatile. You don't really know how the person is going to be using it. So it needs to work in a lot of different ways so they can apply it to many different tools. So that's why I'm going to be testing it and looking at it from as many different perspectives as I possibly can with the supplies that I have. So this is the number five case here. It's the Suez Wide Opening Pencil Pen Case Lightweight and Spacious Pencil Bag Pouch. Let me bring up all the specific details for him. He, when I bought him, only cost $12.99. And let's, he's the one that came just shipped like this, straight in his bag like this. Okay. So he's got kind of a plasticky vinyl bottom and a canvas that feels also plasticky on the side. A nice big zipper pull, which I appreciate. And it had lots of different colors to choose from. All these bags had lots of different colors to choose from. I tried to pick a different color for every bag just to keep me um, organized and not confused. Okay, right out of the bag, the zipper is catching right there, but it's catching because of the little pleat there. Hopefully that won't be a continued problem. Okay, we open up. So this one, it says it's triangular design. So yeah, you can see how they're going for a wide base, narrow top. That's their overall shape. Has little pockets on the inside, which I don't know if that's gonna be very useful for my um, sorts of supplies. We'll test it out. A little pocket over here and a nice wide pocket here. And it's got that little pleated like um, grommet. Is that what that's called? Not a grommet, a gusset. <laughs> I knew it started with a G. So that's a little gusset that makes it so that the bag can open wider without all your pencils spilling out. So that's nice. Okay, so that's the very first bag. Um, let me test a bunch of basic supplies in it and see what does and doesn't fit in it.
Okay, after doing a real quick put them in and test type um, measurement, the bottom of the bag is not as wide as the top of the bag. So if you did have something that was longer, um, you might be able to squeeze it in and have it sit at the very, very top of the bag. Overall, everything I've tried so far is fitting. That is like the standard size, but I tried putting in a few things that I kind of knew wouldn't fit, like a 12 inch ruler. I don't think anything's gonna hold that. Usually what I do, just so you know, if it's a longer ruler, what I did was I cut down a big ruler in half and just carry this small size ruler around. That works really well inside these small bags. Okay, this didn't fit. This didn't fit. Um, this is a card that I have a whole bunch of washi tape wound off on too, so I can take lots of colors with me. That didn't fit. Now, these tools here, I'm a little disappointed, didn't fit. Now, these are some longer paint brushes. Um, the longest one didn't fit. The shorter one you could get away with uh, at the very top of this bag. Um, the chameleon marker, which we all know is really big and really long, it doesn't fit at all. Tombow, kind of an important one for us. It does fit at the very top, so it just sort of fits. And then here we have a brand new number two pencil, classic school pencil with a topper on it, so has never been sharpened other than straight out of the box. Um, so it's a long guy. At the bottom of the bag, it doesn't fit you'd be poking straight through the gusset. Um, but at the top, it does fit, so that's good. These little pockets on the side have nice elastic on the top, so I was able to tuck like my pencil sharpener. I was able to tuck some washi tape into these little compartments. Um, the little compartments I find uh, kind of hit and miss in these bags, so we'll see how I end up using them. Okay, so that's my first impression of this bag. It's it's nothing too exciting, and it didn't hold everything I wanted it to, but I don't think any of these bags are gonna hold everything. We'll see. So um, we'll do the big test holding, see how many pencils and pens it can hold here at the end. I'll test all of them all at once. So let's go on to pen bag number Four. This one here is number four. Number four best seller. Okay. This one's made out of a different fabric. It's not the plastic canvas, it actually feels like a cotton polyester type fabric. Cute fabric. Like I said though, um, don't be swayed by the colors because there's lots to choose from. This one's also by the Suez, same as the number five. This one's a high capacity pen, pencil case, black and white, durable pencil bag, pouch, organizer, portable, journaling supplies with easy grip handle and loop. So here's the easy grip handle. And we've got multiple scissors to test, uh, scissors, um, <laughs> zippers to test here. So, well, we got lots going on here. Let's start with the side compartment here, which zips like this. Ooh, opens up so we have some loops here for pens, pencils. We'll see what will and won't fit in these little slots. Love this, so it'll be quick things that I use all the time, my best favorite pens, that kind of thing. That zipper worked great. This is the main compartment here, big zipper and just looks like one nice big, oh no, there's pockets in there. So it's got a big flat box, so it's kind of a rectangular shaped bottom. And then it's got these side pockets, no mesh, no elastic, just sewn in with this kind of crinkly, um, it's almost like plastic. I wouldn't call it polyester. It's something in between plastic and polyester. So that's what the, the little pockets here are made of. And then we have one more pocket here with a cute little pull. And this canvas um, flap here. Okay. And it's just a basic pocket right here. 
All right, and then here's that handle it was talking about, which I do think would be really handy. You drop that down into your big backpack or purse or bag, and then you can just lift it right out. I think that's handy. Okay, let me test and see what will and won't fit. Okay, I think I've finished trying all the odd size things. Of course, this tool right here is just slightly too wide, which is a shame. These are too long. You'd hurt the tips of your brushes putting those in. Of course, the ruler didn't fit and this didn't fit. What I was surprised by though, is that the chameleon fits in here. It may be just a smidgen too long, but you could probably put a couple, maybe three in there. I don't know, that's, that's pretty cool that that one fit. And the Tombow fits very comfortably and it even fits up here. So you could even fill up the front with Tombows, which is pretty cool. And the Copics of course fit really well into these loops. So that's nice. I didn't try, oh yeah, I even put the, so these loops are very generous. I mean, this is too long for this compartment, but the loop is good enough for a really fat marker, which means you could probably put two or three pencils or pens into these loops. So far, I'm impressed with this one. I really don't like this fabric that they used in here. I'm a little nervous about it. We'll see how it, it stands up to some abuse um, because this looks like a weak point right here that might tear, especially, you know, I'm pretty tough on my bags. I drop a lot of weird things as you can see into my bags. Oh, the other thing that I thought was cool was the paint palette. It fits almost, yeah, see, you can fit it flat down there. You wouldn't have to stand it on its side, so it would take up not too much room. I wonder if it would stand up. It even stands up, oh my goodness, that's pretty cool. Okay, so, so far, I, I really like the size. This seems really versatile, like you could do a lot of different projects with this one bag. This front pocket, again, I'm not too sure but it would give you options, so. Yeah, so when I bought this back now, here in August, it's $14.49. Lots of different um, colors to pick from, different prices available for the different colors, so this is going to be a fun one to test out. Let's check out bag number three. Okay, bag number three finally gets us to a different brand, so maybe we'll see some different zippers, different quality, I don't know. Let's slide it out. This one is the East Hill Large Capacity Pencil Case Pen Bag Pouch Holder Multi-Slot School Supplies for Middle School, School Office, College, Teen Girl, Adult, Simple Storage. That's what this one is here. I got it in the mint green and uh, I paid $12.99 when I got this one. And they're talking a lot about this fabric, I believe. Cotton sturdy material, strong zippers, um, yeah, easy to carry handle, yeah, another nice handle, and we're back to that triangular design that bag number five had, so that's interesting, but we have a two zippers here instead of one like bag number five, and the print on it, this little tag didn't get sewn exactly straight, but I'm not picky about that, the kind of thing it says, made with passion, in style bag, and I don't know what that last word says, Angu or something? <laughs> uh, Angu, yeah, that's what the little pull tags on here say as well. Cute little pull tags, that makes it a little easier to grab. And so far it looks really good. Nice feel to it. Okay, let's check the little pouch first. This little one here opens up. 
Oh, it's just like a shortcut into the main pouch. Okay, and we have a little uh, mesh pocket with elastic here and some little elastic loops. So I'm assuming they're picturing us using it like, we got a pen, like this. So that the pens sit securely in here and have a little loop there. So when you open it up, they don't flip around. Okay, and then we have like a gusset right here to keep whatever is in the triangular compartment from spilling out. That's kind of cool. You could sit it on your desk, sort of like this. Let me show you. So, and then you can just reach in and grab what you want, I guess. That's kind of clever. I don't know if it'll be useful or not. We'll have to test and actually use it and see how I feel about it. This zipper here runs really nice. Oh, we got more pack pockets here. Let me show you. We have these two pockets here, just standard um, that kind of nylon type fabric. And then the hole inside is nice and wide. All right, time to test and see what will and won't fit into this little bag. Okay, it's got a really nice wide bottom to it. So things like the paint palette, again, fit flat at the bottom. So that's pretty nice and generous. I like that. Again, these little side pockets, we'll see how they stand up to some abuse. This fabric does feel better than the last one. So that's good. Um, the same standard big things didn't fit. Um, which I wasn't surprised about. So none of these types of things will go inside. But a Tombow marker does go inside, but only in the main compartment. And it barely fits through the zipper. So you have to do this sideways in and lay down, which maybe that's just fine for you or um, whoever's using it. A little bit annoying to me, and I'm starting to wonder if... The other ones, no, so you can go straight down with that one. And let me check this other one. Yeah, straight down with that one too. So yeah, no wonder I was uh, just a slightly annoyed by that. That could get old fast if you're pulling in and out a lot of different markers. Of course, the long markers don't fit in that front quick access panel, but that's okay. You could load this up with other shorter tools. And then let me test, I don't know if I tested the pencil with the eraser topper. Let's see if I can find that. Uh, this is why I use bags, you guys, instead of boxes. <laughs> okay, so this is too long for your quick access, which kind of, that's a little, yeah. So not a nice full size pencil. That one won't fit there. And it, it's too long for the zipper there, so you're gonna have to do that in, and then it fits down at the bottom. So, yeah, that's I, so far my only complaint about this bag is long tools have to go in here, which is fine, but the zipper is a little narrow here, so you have to do that little in and out thing. But I like this quick access thing. It'll be interesting to see how I use it. I'm intrigued by this bag. Love that little handle too. Okay, so let's move on to bag number two, the number two bestseller of this category. Okay, here is the number two bag. And I don't know how to say their brand. A. O. Reger, I think is how. Yeah, they're doing it as two words A. O. Reger. Pencil case. Okay. Um, and it says, with two large compartments, pocket, big capacity pencil pouch, holder, pen case, makeup bag, school supplies, office stationery, storage gift for high school students, boy, girl, adult, teen. 
get out of this noisy thing. Oh, that's a different feeling. It says it's waterproof, premium material made of high quality PVC. Interesting. Okay. So we have um, a big, whoa, this is opening way up. And it's sort of triangular, almost like two triangles. Whoa, two triangles, two zippers. Um, and we have a handle here, more like just a loop sewn into the center of those two triangles. Nice big beefy zippers. And then let's take a peek at this front section here. Velcro. I hate Velcro closures. You can't open whatever is in here if you're in a quiet place like a class, a meeting, church, uh, even a doctor's office. You always feel a little like, uh, hello everyone. Okay. There we go, and then it's sort of pleated here so you can get into it. Not quite sure what I would put in here. It'd have to be flat, maybe some post-it notes. Or your phone, does your phone fit in there? Let's see if my phone, my iPhone. Eh. Eh. Well, yeah, it sort of fits. <laughs> but then every time your phone dings, it's like a uh, sound. <laughs> All right, I'm done complaining. Let's open up the big pouches because that's what we're really here to look at, right? First big pouch. Open this up. Okay. No inner pockets, just a nice big pouch. Good lining fabric. I like that lining fabric. That feels really nice. Okay, and then let's look at the second pouch. Oh, we got two of those inner pockets that they like to give us. And same size inner pouch again. All right, let me run some tests here and see what will and won't fit. Okay, kind of surprised. At, I didn't, yeah, surprised. The chameleon, our longest and biggest marker, it fits down in there. It's a little snug, but if you really wanted to take your chameleon markers with you, this guy would work. That's cool. The other surprise was this one here. This is the first bag so far that we've tested that comfortably, well, barely, but it fit my little washi tape card, so that was cool. Um, things that it struggled with was this one here. I was like, it'll fit, it's gonna fit. And it does, but at the top where the zipper comes together, it would put some strain on that zipper, and I don't wanna put any strain on any zippers, so it's almost, but not quite. Maybe as this gets smaller, which this is already um, not a full roll, so a full roll wouldn't fit. Of course, my little circle tool and my ruler didn't fit, but we kind of knew that would happen, and of course my big paint brushes wouldn't fit, but everything else I tucked in there fit. I still don't know how I would use this front pocket, and I'm kind of getting makeup bag vibes from this bag more than I am a stationary bag. I'm really curious to see how I'll end up using this one. Yeah, I'm not sure what project I would use it for because of the way it's divided. It's going to be very interesting. Okay, let's look at number one. I'm really excited about this number one bag and it's kind of where this whole thing started. I was um, on Amazon and this was the first one that I found and it had that number one bestseller label on it, so that's where it began. And I think I mentioned the price on this one. I better double mention it, just in case. $12.98 is what I paid for this one right here. Okay, let's look at the number one bestseller Amazon 
pen bag. Okay, let me read to you about this one here. It is by East Hill. It's the big capacity pencil pen case, office college, school large storage, high capacity bag, pouch holder box organizer. I paid $15.99 for this one and I got it in the purple color. I'm so excited about that color. Okay, and it's got some writing on the front. So excited. Oh, look at that pretty purple. Love it. So it says on the front, nicely stitched too, be young, be unique, special, you are one in a million. Well, I am young at heart. <laughs> Okay, so we've got two zippers going on here. Oh, this is that Angu again. Whatever, which one was Angu before? We had another Angu. Anyway, this one was Angu. Hmm. Okay, so let's start with the white zipper. And this zipper opens like this and it gets us into the entire bag and I believe the purple zipper is an expander yep so if we have lots to carry which I almost always do you unzip that oh wow yeah and it accordions out to hold more Okay, like that. Now, peek inside, we have a pocket here, which I almost never use pockets like this. If they're not zipped or closured, I always fear I will lose it. Although we could tuck my phone and it fits like a dream. So that's probably the main way I would use it. Now I'm totally getting wallet vibes. <laughs> Well, this could be a good wallet if it doesn't work out as a pencil case, potentially. Okay, ooh, open this up. We've got it extended, just so you know. On this side, we have a zipper section here with mesh. So I'm assuming they're thinking thin things and small things for this side. We'll test what will and won't fit here. And then in the middle, we have this sort of flopping divider, something, some glue there. Um, it has some nice ample loops. We'll see what will fit and won't fit in the loops. And then we have some mesh here. This isn't elastic. It's just some bias tape right there. So yeah, and it's got some like cardboard in there to give it a little rigidity as it moves. And then we've just got this nice, big, deep um, compartment here for lots of tools. Again, we'll see what will and won't hold there. I'm curious what that compartment looks like when it's not expanded. Is it even usable when it's flattened down? That's what it looks like when it's flattened down. So the fabric is sort of bulky in there, it takes up some of the room. And if this was shut, would this take up the rest of the room? <laughs> I don't know what you could fit. That's an interesting question because the bulk of this would push down in here. So the expandability is kind of a fun idea, but I think practicality wise, I don't know if you would ever have it not expanded. So I think I would rather have seen them save the money on this zipper, the money, the time to manufacture it this way and put it into something else. Because I think everyone's just gonna wanna open all the time. That's my first instinct, but I don't know. Again, we'll see how I end up using it. It could be a totally different story when I start using it. Let's see what will and won't fit.
Okay, at $15.99, this is our most expensive of the five bags. And um, this marker, our chameleon big fat and long marker, it fits in the large section. Um, you have to sort of do that in and tuck it down in to get past this um, the ridge here but it'll go in so if you need to put them in you can but of course putting it in here won't work because the, well, the loop is big enough so that's good so you know that the loops are going to hold a lot of capacity but once you tuck it down in I think the way that that's intended that wouldn't work but if you bypass that kind of works. Tombow has the same issue up here. Of course it fits here, but once you tuck it into here, it, it, it passes that little spot, but not this spot as well, so it's a little fiddly. So this little flap here is definitely made for shorter tools. The pencil has the same issue. It's just a little bit too long. You can make it work, but it's not exactly right. So the longer tools definitely belong down in here. Surprise for me was, I think, that the tape fit. <laughs> and I think I would feel comfortable zipping it. It doesn't feel too bulky. You can kind of see where it is, but it's not putting strain on the zipper. So I could actually put my tape in there. Of course, these types of things didn't fit. Our ruler, the round tool, the washi tape card didn't fit, and my um, long paint brushes, those guys didn't fit safely inside here. Um, the paint palette fit nicely, the scissors all fit nicely. So I think there's some versatility going on here that would be good. I'm just a little perplexed by how I would use this expansion thing, whether I will use it or not. And yeah, this one I had really high hopes for and now I'm confused by it. Quality wise, I'm not confused by it. It's really nice and we'll just have to see how I use it. It's going to be a very interesting adventure. But the next thing I want to know is, like I said, a lot of them have claims. Like, I think this one had a claim on, yeah, that this will hold 50 pens and 90 pencils. So I want to line up all of our five bags and do a test. How many pencils can I get into this and how many pens? And I'm not gonna like shove them until the zippers are strained. Again, I'm always out to protect my zippers. I want to see how many pens and how many um, pencils we can fit in these bags without straining zippers. And we'll count them up and see if they are accurate.
Okay, I'm all done counting pens and pencils, and let me tell you what I learned. Let's start with number five. This one here, they claim will hold 30 or more pens and pencils, and that's what I learned. Um, it'll hold 34 of my standard gel pens. So these are just basic Chinese gel pens that I was throwing in. Not anything special. So if you're trying to fit anything chubbier, like the Pentel Sparkle Pops or Solar Pops or Milky Pops, anything that's a little bit thicker, you won't be able to fit this many pens. Just keep that in mind. And then I was able to hold more than that with the pencils, obviously. I got 50 pencils up to this gusset point. So if you were to fully unzip the bag, you wouldn't want the pencils to spill out. So I stopped the count there, but then you're able to put like another 10 on top and still comfortably zip this shut. I am having issues with this zipper getting stuck on the gusset. Um, that's really frustrating me. So we'll see over use how that feels. Okay, let's go to bag number four. They claimed on this bag right here that it can hold a hundred or more pens or pencils. And oh boy, this is a large capacity bag. Now remember, large capacity isn't necessarily a reason to purchase a bag over another bag. It might be the reason, but we're, we're looking more for versatility and um, a well-made bag, right? But wow, I was impressed with the capacity of this mighty little bag here. I was able to hold a hundred of my standard Chinese type gel pens and I got the whole 120 set of color pencils in here with room to spare. So the 120 pencils came all the way up to where this, the zipper stops. Let me show you that in the other angle. So the zipper has this curve here, which allows you to access things really well, but it sort of stops your capacity. You wouldn't want to fill past that unless um, you were being careful to not spill anything when you opened it up. So I, I was kind of glad that I didn't have more than 120 pencils, but you could like put some washi tape and other things on top of your 120 pencils. So yeah, massive capacity on number four. Okay, number five right here, it claims we can hold 50 pens or pencils. And again, they were being very, um, very small on the numbers because I was able to get 50 pens, like they said, of the standard Chinese pens, gel pens, but I was able to get 60 pens up to the gusset. Now the problem here is when you open the front, things could potentially spill out. The pencils can fit through this hole. So I stopped the count at where the pencils were right at the top of this gusset right here. Again, let me show you the other view. So I didn't want any pencils to spill out if I were using them through this hole. So, oh, and there's my comb sharpener in there. <laughs> I would have missed that. Okay, so to um, to the gusset, I got 60, but if you zip this shut and don't plan on opening it and just fill it up to the top and still be able to comfortably run your zipper, then you're able to hold 100 to the top. So very good capacity on this little guy right here. Now our next pencil bag right here is our number two bag and they claim that you can hold 70 pens and 140 to 160 pencils. Okay, so for this one, we only had 120 pencils that we were testing with. I was able to get, let me grab my notes here. I was able to get 80 pens, so they said 70, and I got 80 pens in here, and I split them evenly between the two side pouches, and just made sure that this was open as wide as possible at the bottom. Hopefully this will relax the more I use it, and I'm sure it will. Okay, and then I was also able to put all 120 pencils in here with a little bit of room to spare at the top. Not a lot 
but a little bit, not as much room to spare as this one had. And I think, again, it's because of the, the way this was constructed, where it's a triangle, wider at the bottom, narrower at the top. So, um, yeah, that was pretty cool that I could get the whole 120 pencil set in this bag. Okay, finally, we have this bag, our number one bag. And they claim that you can fit 50 pens or 90 pencils in here. And I got exactly what they claimed. So they were very careful with their numbers. I got 50 pens and 90 pencils. And I, what I did was I just sort of ignored this section here, didn't put anything up here, and just filled up the bottom part and kind of filled it up to this um, little tape here, the, the finishing tape and made sure that I felt like it would zip shut securely and not anything spill out if you were to open it up. And that's what I got was 50 of those standard Chinese gel pens and 90 Crayola color pencils in here. Very comfortably with, you know, a little room comfortably to zip this shut. Okay, so that's my analysis, unboxing and prep for the actual testing part. I think for me, the one bag that I'm probably most excited about using right off is the big capacity bag. This one I think has the most potential for how I can use it. I love that it has a quick access section and then a big area where I can put a ton of odd sized things and just dump a bunch of stuff in there. So for the way I use these types of bags, this one seems the most natural for my style and the kind of art supplies I'm going to be carrying. Um, the one that I'm least excited about is probably this little one, but I am excited to try a smaller set of tools um, and get a little more selective about what I put in and really try this one out and see if it works well for me. Plus, this one I'm a little worried about because of the gusset getting caught in the zipper, so we'll see how it works. But my plan is to use all five try lots of different scenarios, um, take them from here and on a little vacation that we're going on and use them around the house. Just use them as many different ways as I can and I'll report back to you how they perform and which ones are my favorite and least favorite so that you can get my perspective on how these bags function in real life. Wish me luck. I'm excited to get some art done. Yay! All right, it's been several months now and I've been using these cases a lot and they're all filled with different things. So I thought it would be interesting to open it up and see how I settled on using each of these cases. And I'll talk about how I feel, which one's my favorite and which one I would probably steer you away from. Also, I wanted to mention that several months later, the prices have changed on all five of these cases. Most of them have dropped in price, so that's cool for you. And also, a different thing has happened as well. There's actually a new case in the top five, and this one right here is no longer in the top five best sellers for Amazon. So go check out that listing, and, and um, you can see that other case that is now in the top five. It actually looks pretty cool. So let's start by talking about case number one. This is case number one right here. And let me bring up the current listing here on Amazon for you to see. The price has dropped to $14.99. I paid $15.99 for my case, so it's a dollar less. And how I ended up using this case, let's peek inside and see what I loaded into it. I have never shrunk it down to the smaller version. It has stayed expanded in its widest format the whole time I've used it so I, I don't think this option of being able to shrink it down is very helpful to me. Now this it looks like I've been using this for pens mainly so in here I've got some odd long ones I've got a whole bunch of my Zig Memory System Wink of Stella pens in here and just a couple gel pens and then these are my fine liner pens and you can see they don't fit in 
perfectly. I've been using them so they get just kind of halfway inserted. And then in here, these are actually extras that didn't fit into this front little flap. So that's how I've been using this case. I'm really impressed by the zippers, the capacity. This is a fantastic case. So I would put this on one of my top recommendations for cases, but it's not my favorite out of the five. So let's check out case number two now. This is case number two, and this is the one that has fallen off of the top five list, although it's still one of their, I think they call it their best sellers or Amazon choice or something like that. You can see here that this pink one that I purchased back in August for, $12.98 is now $8.98. So it's dropped in price quite a bit if you're interested in this case. So this is a really nice case. I really enjoyed the zippers. Um, they move really well. I love this handle on the end. I've never used this front pocket for anything. It's just not practical for my uses. But let's take a peek inside and see what I have currently stored in it. This case is dedicated to doing drawing in like a sketchbook and creating new coloring pages. So I ended up adding a little case with my compass in it in here. So that has been working well. And then I've got all kinds of pencils, mechanical pencils, normal pencils. And over here, I've got a pencil sharpener, blending stump. I've got replaced things to replace into the mechanical pencils. I even have um, some sandpaper for sharpening up the points of different tools. Like I said, lots of erasers. So I was able to use this case really well. It has stayed very organized and makes it really quick and easy for me to find what I'm looking for. Really good case, but again, not my number one favorite to recommend to you. So let's go to case number three. All right, this is case number three that I tried out and it's that triangular shaped one and it has dropped in price dramatically. So I paid for this one, let's see, $12.99, and check it out. You can get these for $5.99 right now. It says it's 63% off. Really great deal, cute colors that you can choose from. And then over here, there's also a new variety. This one's at $10.99, still less than what I paid for, and has all these cute little checkered type patterns on the cases. So that's fun. And now let's peek inside and see how I'm using this case. And if you remember right, this case has that quick access feature. You can see one of the problems right there. Anything long gets hooked into there and doesn't work really great. So I haven't been a very big fan of that. Although I like the quick access, it, when you set it up, you finally have it set up, it's handy. I've got some water brushes. These are the Derwent sketching pencils. They're uh, water soluble graphite. So this bag right here ended up being dedicated to doing watercolors and water soluble type things. I've got a collapsible bowl in here. I've got some uh, recycled napkins from a little store nearby, a little restaurant. I've got one brush. This was the best brush I could find for fitting in here so that the bristles wouldn't get bent. I've got some spray water and one palette of watercolor paints. So that's how I've been using this case, and it works really good for this purpose, except for this little problem here. When you close it up, you've got to tuck those pencil tips in. I don't know if you saw that. Let's see, you have to tuck them in like that, and then you zip it up. So let me show you that problem again. So I think in theory, it's a good idea, but it just needs to be wider. That's my my impression on this. Uh, but again, this is not the number one favorite bag that I would recommend to you. So let's check out the next bag. All right, this bag was number four on the top five bestsellers and it too has dropped in price. I paid $14.49 for it and now they're about $10.99 for these bags. 
So awesome for you guys. Um, this one is my favorite out of all five and the one that I would recommend that you purchase. Let me explain why. As I was going through all of my different categories of supplies, all of them fit in this bag. There wasn't a category that I couldn't fit into here. And because of its big capacity, it's been fantastic. I keep right in this area any pens or tools that I'm using currently, so they just get tucked right in here. You can even lay bigger things in here and zip it shut, not just pens. So that little flap is actually useful and handy. And then I haven't used the front zipper. Oh, I take it back. I remember now I put in here some brand new pens to replace any that are starting to get dry inside the main compartment. I'd forgotten how smart I was. So yes, I've even used that front little pocket. Now in the main category, the main section here, it's been so useful. I put a whole big pile of alcohol markers in there and then look at how many gel pens I was able to stuff in here. And it was so great on our trip to have all these gel pens with me and I could grab them. I even put some that were in a package, brand new, ready to go. All of these pens, these markers, and this all fit in that main big section. Now they're not very well organized, but for me it didn't matter because it's just a category of tool and it was organized by category already, gel pens and markers. So this little bag has been fantastic and the fact that it's dropped in price makes it even better. I can even more highly recommend this bag. So whether you're the person you're purchasing for is a watercolorist, a sketcher, a colorist, even for makeup this would work well. All of them will find a way to use this bag because it's such a good size. It's not too big, but it's not too small. Love this bag. Now there's one more bag to show you and it was the fifth on the list of bestsellers. Let's take a peek at how I'm using that one. All right, I don't think anyone's going to be surprised. After the unboxing, I knew right away that this little bag here was not going to be my favorite. And as I've been using it, it has proven to still be kind of a frustrating bag. I do like that it's smaller. It would fit better into my purse or any kind of bag to take it with me. So for the concept of it, I like that. But the practicality of it has been really Really frustrating. Let me show you how I'm using it. Right now I have it loaded up with all things white. So white paint pens, white gel pens, and then in a separate bag, and I had to put it into a separate bag in here to protect them, I put my white color pencils. In. They don't fit very well in this bag, but it does the job. So I have a whole bunch of white color pencils in there. And then, let's see, this is just not perfect. This <laughs> size bag is just not perfect. I have my swatches for the white tools, and I never found really a great use for these back things. I guess I could have put in a pencil sharpener for these pencils, but I was right, these little gussets here on the end get caught in the zipper when you're closing it up every single time it gets caught. So I don't like that about this bag. Now, as far as its current price, right now it's on sale for $5.99. And when I bought it, I paid $12.99. So seven bucks cheaper than when I purchased it. Still a lot of really cute styles to pick from. So if you're looking for a smaller bag, I guess it would work well, but functionally, I really don't like that gusset and I feel like it's not a very versatile, um, use it in any type of manner bag. So I wouldn't recommend it. So currently on the top five bestseller list, there is a new bag, this one right here. Let me go like that. And it's by a different company and it is quite interesting to me. I kind of wish I had it for the review. It's waterproof. It has two flip down quick access sections and then one large capacity section in the middle. So I think I think design-wise, I think it's 
got some good ideas. Maybe it would be a good in between these two right here. These are my two favorite bags. So that would be cool if that ha is how it works. And it's on sale right now for $9.99, has even a purple option, which is what I would have bought. <laughs> So here's all five of the pencil cases that I tried out and in order of what I would recommend, I would start out with this one right here. This was my favorite. I think it's great, versatile. I think anybody would like this bag. And then secondly would be this one. I think the expanded section isn't necessary, but overall the size and how much it will hold makes it very versatile and it's kind of a fun looking case. Third was this one right here. It worked great for what I was using it for, but not perfect for everything. And it has a whole entire pocket that I'm not even using. So it's kind of a waste of cost and manufacturing to have that pocket there. Fourth is this one here it has some problems with it as far as long tools getting caught. And so it makes it less um, versatile, less apt to grab it for a certain project. And then fifth on my list is this one. Not only is the size just a little bit too small to make it super useful for me, but it has a problem with the gusset always getting caught in the zipper. So that's kind of a deal breaker for me. I don't want to be struggling with my cases. I want to be doing art. All right, five cases here. Comment below, which one of these five did you like the most? Would you want as a gift for you? And is there any of these that you're considering purchasing? Or maybe you have a pencil case that you'd like me to check out in the future. Let me know in the comments below. I'll have links to all of these cases in my video description. So if you're interested in purchasing one, you can do that. And let me make a suggestion because some of these cases are pretty inexpensive and if you're looking for something to pair it with so it makes an even more exciting gift, I would suggest a swatch book. These swatch books are very versatile, so they can be used for coloring pencils, they can be used for markers and watercolor paints, they can be used for all kinds of things. So it would be a really good gift to give to any artist or stationary lover. So I'll also put a link to this, because think how great a gift that would be. A bag to hold all of their tools and a swatch book so that they can swatch everything that's in that bag. Well, I hope that these suggestions and ideas and this review was helpful to you as you are buying holiday gifts, birthday gifts, whatever kind of gifts you are looking for. Pencil cases, I think, are the most versatile and perfect thing to buy for someone that you care about. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye-bye, everyone.